New weapons formed as pens and pencils. From his long walk, he formed pathways into cloths, room hallways, so we could walk longer futures out of doorways that flooded knowledge into our cerebrals. With his cry for education, doors peeled themselves off their hinges, and we were welcomed to a new horizon that lit up the cosmos, and we could see beyond our very own poverty. Footprints of my father's shoes that were planted firmly into the ideals of a liberated nation. The color of opportunity, each equally for all. They say that any dream can turn into reality if you follow these three steps. Step one, see it clearly. It all starts with two simple words, goals and clarity. Step two, believe it passionately. And step three, pursue it aggressively. When Professor Iron Rensberg walked through the doors of his new office at the University of Johannesburg in 2006, he arrived with goals clarity and passion, ready to reimagine the future of UJ. As the newly appointed Vice-Chancellor, he could not predict the future, as no man can. The first year presented many challenges, as it was only a year earlier, in 2005, that the merger between the Technikon Vatvaartestrand, the Rand Afrikaans University and the Soweto and East Rand campuses of Vista University materialized. However, Professor Rensberg passionately pursued his goal for year one, the consolidation of the university's core academic business. The saying goes, a man without a vision for the future will always return to the past. Looking back was never an option for Professor Rensberg, only moving forward and progressing. In 2007, the focus was on renewing research. Professor Rensberg prepared to launch the university as a premier institution of higher education while never losing sight of the vision. A dynamic, diverse and leading African university. Twenty research niches were identified and capacitated to accelerate the development of fully-fledged, internationally competitive areas of research excellence. The results of Professor Rensberg's intervention were immediate and UJ started to attract, retain, develop and incentivize top and scarce scholars. Enrollment in 2008 reached 45,200, an increase of about 7% compared with 2007. This affirmed the strengthening of the UJ brand. The foundations were set for the renewal of UJ's teaching and learning programs. The plans for the Soweto campus were approved and building activities commenced. In October 2008, graduation ceremonies marked a new and historic moment as proud diploma graduates were capped for the first time. Inspired by the progress, Professor Iron Rensberg and his team set a renewed focus on the theme of living the UJ values during 2009. It was also the year of managing change as the reality of the new kid on the block with a new academic model was not always understood nor easily accepted. However, the Vice-Chancellor stood by his belief that UJ needs to be a flag bearer for change. And so it was, and so it still is. Integration continued to be successfully driven from the top through a well-orchestrated cultural integration program. A highlight of the year was the vision of Soweto campus becoming a reality. The dream of building a truly world-class campus was finally within reach. Student centers were constructed during 2009 and provided a multi-purpose entertainment space with various retail outlets. On the academic front, the drive towards the promotion of research as a core process started to bear fruit and the creation of the Vice-Chancellor's Awards placed excellence in research and teaching at the highest level. 2010 saw UJ celebrating its fifth anniversary, with foundations now firmly in place for the further development of a world-class institution. Professor Rensberg spearheaded the development and implementation of UJ's campus differentiation and internationalization strategies. UJ celebrated significant partner collaboration, including an agreement with Harvard University during this year. 
the introduction of the first year experience program undoubtedly contributed to the significant improvement in the degree and diploma success rates of first time entering students and the total graduate output for 2010 reached 10,299. A great achievement for the university during 2010 was the visionary and landmark work that resulted in the development of the Soweto campus's infrastructure and its unique program profile. And who can forget the excitement around the FIFA Soccer World Cup in 2010? UJ was very much part of this legacy project, with the upgrade of its sports stadiums and the university making its student accommodation available during the World Cup. During 2011, the Vice-Chancellor and his team spent considerable time building support and momentum behind the strategic thrusts and key performance indicators for the decade ending 2020. The adoption of the new UJ vision, mission and value statements signal the strength of a now integrated new generation university. At the end of 2011, Professor Rensberg concluded his term of office as Chairperson of Higher Education South Africa. However, he accepted to stay on in the role of Chairperson of the Differentiation Committee. In December 2011, he received the Le Matinal Africa India Education Excellence Award for Outstanding Contribution to Education. Professor Rensberg always believed in giving without remembering and receiving without forgetting. He gave out of his own pocket while ensuring sustainable programs to support students in need. One of these initiatives, the UJ Meal Support Program, was established in 2010 and provided two healthy meals a day to more than 3,800 needy students in 2011. Today, UJ is still actively making a difference to thousands of students' lives by sponsoring daily meals, subsidizing inter-campus transport, topping up national student financial aid scheme resources, and finding creative ways to financially support those without the necessary funding to study in order to improve their futures and the future of their families. During 2012, the university set a special focus on Africa in order to position, network and raise the institution's visibility, establish collaborative programs and increase student and scholar mobility. Further focus was placed on technology programs and scientific and technology driven research, innovation and technology transfer. The Vice-Chancellor held the role of Chairperson of the Southern African Regional Universities Association, an association for 63 public universities in the SADC region. He was also actively involved in the National Planning Commission and the Ministerial Committee on the review of the funding of universities. 2013 was a year of great challenge and at the same time great reward. UJ's groundbreaking online late application system was introduced and overall enrollment targets were exceeded. On the research front, considerable gains were made with increasing publications output, thereby fast-tracking the university's rankings, bringing them closer to those of other leading South African universities. Successfully hosting President Barack Obama on the UJ Soweto campus as part of his Pan-African Town Hall conversation with young people across Africa was a particular highlight during this year. The Funda Uchabule School on the Soweto campus was officially opened as a teaching school and the first of its kind in Africa. The school serves the surrounding community in terms of childhood education while functioning as a social laboratory that is unique in South Africa. The Vice-Chancellor actively stewarded the university community towards UJ's new 2025 Global Excellence and Stature Strategic Plan. This was undertaken over a two-year period and was adopted by Council in November 2013. 2014 the 10th anniversary of the UJ brand and a year of transition towards the 2025 strategic plan 
and with it a refined vision, mission and values charter for a new university that was making its mark nationally and internationally. Many successes were celebrated during this time. One of these achievements was that no less than 93% of UJ students were employed within 12 months of graduation, resulting in UJ graduates leaving their mark in their tens of thousands in all aspects of South African life and beyond. During this year, the repurposed Perskor building in Durantfontein now aptly named the QK building after two stalwart journalists, Percy Koboza and Agri Cluster became the study hub of many of our engineering students on the Durantfontein campus, substantially enhancing their learning and teaching experience. The University of Johannesburg had a merkwaardige vordering in its first decade. Navorsings publications had a verdrievoudig and the graduated outset had a betekenisvol toegeneem. The University of Johannesburg had a getal swart academici is as a mailpaal gevier en ook die toename van internationale akademiese personeel en die algehele presentasie inskrywings van swart studente. Professor Rensburg het die talle prestaties van die eerste dekade gevier, terwyl hy ook besef het, hy sal voordeerend die vordering moet ophou, so dat hy kan anhou om die bijdraad tot Suid-Afrika se vooruitgang en die universiteit se wereldklas statuur to 2015 will, without a doubt, be reflected in South Africa's history as one of the most profound periods in the country's higher education sector due to the Fees Must Fall movement and related national protests. However, amidst the turmoil, UJ's academic agenda was never compromised and the Vice-Chancellor successfully chaired and steered an important session on students' views and experiences on transformation in universities. UJ's successful student and worker engagement remained exemplary of effective leadership in higher education. The challenges that 2015 brought reinvigorated Professor Rensberg and his team's commitment to social transformation and brought the UJ family closer together. Amidst further turmoil and often violent student activism in 2016, UJ continued to exceed expectations. Professor Rensburg's investment in and commitment to the UJ vision and mission, as well as national and global goals for a far more inclusive, transformed, caring and responsive higher education system, never ceased. By this time, the university achieved or surpassed performance targets in the instances of 21 of the 26 key performance indicators. Indima enkulu usoluazi rentspek aita ndile. Ngoku kulu ugu kutala, ugu tropelela, nuguzi kandla, ngeskati epete AUJ, kuwe ugu tutugisa inyo nivisi. Uwenze gonke ugu ti ingubo ye inyo nivisi, inagegele izi ngukugo, ugu paramisa ugu Afrika, nukumana kwe zizwe ezi ningi kwe doloba. Kube na yekelega noguti in university kube easy go. Elam kela na yo, el kokisa na yo, eli nchi segelo nengo bega la pambili. Kube una yekelenge solo kuzi, e wana msebe nzi, omkomo, nomko kocha we in university. Woku nono palisa ezimfundo, ufundisa nengo kesho. The Vice-Chancellor was actively involved in mobilizing funding for the missing middle and given the target of 40 million rand in addition to the UJ contribution of 20 million rand. This highly successful campaign is the largest ever South African university-led fundraising initiative and raised almost 300 million since 2016. The Vice-Chancellor concluded the year 2016 with these words. At UJ, challenges galvanize our energies, spur our imaginations, reinvigorate our commitment to social transformation 
and bring us closer together. By 2017, UJ was transformed into a diverse, inclusive, transformational and collegial institution with a student population of over 52,000 of which more than 3,000 are international students from 80 countries. Graduate output has grown from just over 10,000 in 2005 to 12,770 in 2016, while student success rate has increased from 75% in 2005 to 84.2% .2 in 2016. Significant improvements with 50 to 60% of graduates being first-generation university students. Professor Rendsburg has been acknowledged numerous times for his leadership and transformation in higher education. The latest being an honorary doctorate from the University of the West Indies. Under the guidance of the Vice-Chancellor, the university established itself as the Pan-African epicenter of critical intellectual inquiry, catalyzed within key global excellence and stature flagship initiatives. These successes have come because of Professor Rensberg and his team's pursuit of these triple goals of transformation on the one hand, of access and embracing the economically most vulnerable in our nation, and at the same time of pushing on the excellence accelerator they evidently demonstrated that one can embrace and accelerate transformation and at the same time drive excellence. The injection of world-class thinkers is showing multiple benefits through increasing research outputs, broadening and deepening international connections and nurturing the next generation of academics. And now, as we have come to the end of the Vice-Chancellor Professor Iron Rensberg's era, we will continue to celebrate past successes, but at the same time, we look towards future possibilities. The stage is set for staff, students and Africa's youth to reimagine the future. As one phase comes to an end, the next exciting one starts. Professor Iron Rensberg played a pivotal role in the transformation of the academic landscape. The number of black academics rose by more than 300% from 140 to 450. The demography of the student population changed from 60% black students in 2005 to 92.5% today. Through its graduate outputs, UJ is also influencing the economic demography. The graduate output has increased from 9,000 in 2005 to 13,000 currently. UJ is transforming professions not by default, but by design. Purposefully, deliberately, definitively, influencing the economic condition of our society, in particular, the poorest in our nation, transforming professions through each and every graduate that we produce. When we are in the world, we are the world, we are in the the Esizweni sakuti. Namla nje steta nje, ngamu mashumi ama tatu ananye avela kwezo zikolo. Unji ngalazi Rensbeki, guye wali tabatela guye olu kanduva. Logwa mkela abo nabafundi batu pegayo. Waza watinisegi isa uguba kuko iza keko zengaso enga peliyo ukukinisegi isa impumelelo ya bafundi badi bafumane izi danga zaabo. Hai! We thank you, Professor Rensberg. Under your guidance and leadership, UJ has made immense progress in transforming itself into a leading South African, Pan-African and international institution of research, learning and teaching. A world-class university, but one open to all. Your remarkable career at UJ as the Vice-Chancellor is truly an inspiration to us all. The tomorrow for which you have dedicated the past 12 years of your life has arrived 
and it is now ours to shape and ours to reimagine as an extension of your legacy. Here's to you, Prof. Rensburg. May you continue leaving a legacy wherever life leads you.